a lot of money on all the necessary ingredients for three days and nights. Twelve of our highest mages perform the most complex ceremony of high magic. Only one final detail remained. The person would become a master of the chest if... Being in a condition of extreme rage, he wished for power over the artifact and sprinkled it with his own blood. You asked me to give you the chest very intensely, so fiercely you tried to snatch it out of my hands. And there was enough blood to complete the rite, you understand me? Okie dokie, what's next? I don't know, his majesty's majesty will decide... Yes, this was for him after all, he just stole the king's trinket. But we will not be able to repeat the ritual for at least a few years. The voices you've heard are the voices of the rage spirits. The chest of rage was created in order to capture and rule such spirits. I don't know who they were or where they came from. Or how they got themselves into the chest. But like any wizard would, I feel their great power. Power. Their great power power. And <laughs> great anger. Uh, some things were uh, missed in translation. Does that mean all the power of the chest belongs to me now? No, you stupid idiot. You're only level four. I doubt it. The chest is a container, like a jail. Ultimately, it may help you rule the spirits, but unfortunately, we don't know that. It might take several centuries to find an answer. Maybe its previous masters made a, uh, arrangements with the uh, chest residents or figured out some way to pay them. I don't know. You can ask them yourself if you're... if they're talking to you. There was no one able to hear the spirits among those mages who studied the item. We only know that they are locked up inside this artifact. There's a theory that they're creatures of other worlds that had been captured by the demons for some purpose. But this is only conjecture. That means that I'm the first owner of this chest in the, in the for the last thousand years, and it has been in the academy all these years. Yes, for all these years, many generations of mages have tried to solve the mystery of the artifact. Where did it come from? What purpose does it serve? How can we control it? And almost all these questions have been left without definite answers. As for its master. I'm not sure that it ever had what you would call a master. The Chronicles of the War or the Firebridge do not have any reference of demons using the chest, which would suggest that they could not use They chose not to use it, or maybe they simply could not. Perhaps they were afraid, or perhaps they... Uh, they even didn't know how. We do not even know who made it or for what purpose. I guess I'll just have to ask the spirits myself. And how can I get rid of the chest? Why do you want to get rid of the chest? The one thing we do know, and... It's a very easy answer. We simply need to die. No, I'm not kidding. This is an artifact symbiont. How can I explain this to you? It consumes your emotions, steals your anger and rage, and accumulates them. This is the way many demonic artifacts work. And now, it will function only in your hands for as long as you may live. And though you cannot do without the chest... Now you cannot do without the chest. Look! It seems as though it's grown into your palm. And you are stroking it without even noticing. Creepy! Now, to show you one more thing, I will sh I will take it from you for a second. Arg! You see? Soon you will not be able to give it away, and you will not let anyone take it out of your hands until you die. It is possible to kill, paralyze you, uh, or put you to sleep and take the chest away. But then it will become useless again, and in the best case scenario, you will lose your mind along with the chest. Well, this is all pretty grim. Even after that, it is necessary to wait for a very long time before the new ritual of unity can be made to bind the artifact to a new master. Well, how do you... 
like this weapon. I can't use it. I can't give it to someone else. All right, let's see what his majesty will say. He's named the wise for a reason, after all. Now I have a chest of rage. And all these people refuse to obey me. Scaly creature, looking much like a lizard, looks at you angrily, licking its thin lips with a forked tongue from time to time. Okay. Ah! Creature made of redstone rushes forward, reaching its block-like hands out to you. Close the chest quickly! Hey you, close the artifact! We're discussing what we should do now that our prison has a new owner. Eavesdropping is bad manners. I'm sorry. Reaper. Creature in the dark cowl slowly turns to face you. A skull, to be exact. Fiery eye sockets stare at you. And their look nearly burns through you. It seems as if... It seems that you now have seen the very face of death. Close the chest and keep out of harm's way. Probably not a bad idea. Well, we can't do anything with this right now. So let's go say hi to the king. Master. A new master we have. Time flies, time flows. It reversibly changes everything around us. My accent, what little there is of it, will change throughout the game just like everyone else's. Because I can't hold a steady accent to save my life. Okay. We shall see, we shall see. Not a single one worthy. They're Agrael, not a single one. Probably this one will give us stupid orders again. Certainly I'm the master of your... Uh, your chest. Your master. That's kind of mean. But, uh, they seem to need a, a forceful hand. Or I could just ignore them. Ah. Yes, yeah, strange and foolish he seems, but no! He is only young. Filled with sand is his hourglass until he fights that werewolf again. Uh. Huh. Did you keep quiet for a minute? I'm kind of doubting my sanity. Your life is so short, with every moment uh, giving the perception of the new and unknown. You enjoy it. Okay, I'll try not to die. Okay. So, about this mission. Hmm. Have you talked to the mages at the academy? Time is of the essence. Could you tell me more about this chest of rage? It's enough for you to know that this is a powerful artifact created by demons. It is a weapon capable of putting whole armies to flight if used in the proper way. A thousand years ago, the chest of rage was attained by King Karras. Among other trophies, it stumped the sorcerers who had been racking their brains over its secret all these years. But now, as the current president of the academy assured me, they have succeeded. You can't just entrust such a fierce weapon to anybody. That's true, my faithful warrior. Don't worry, special rituals are necessary uh, for before one can become master of this artifact. If you brought it to me, we will choose among the best in Darien to control this artifact. Okie dokie. I brought the chest, my king. Give it to me. The mages should have prepared the artifact to serving its new owner. The power enclosed therein must not fall into the wrong hands. I'm afraid I can't do that, Dave. You refuse to submit to your king's will? Bill Gilbert, do you have any idea the power of my anger? Guards! 
me call the guards, but this will change nothing. See, the ceremony's already been completed, and it turns out I'm the new master of the chest. A sad accident has changed our plans. What accident are you talking about? What's happened? I went to the academy as requested, and... Well... This happened. Well, it's probably all the better. Only time can tell. Maybe you are the man to scrub it, destined to, to command these creatures. So, our faithful knight, you have already proven that you are ready to serve the crown faithfully. We're, re we're using that word a lot today. And your talents deserve better use. This time, however, you will have to pass a trial. Most difficult and dangerous. Do you accept the challenge? I only have... Oh, I, I think I only have one option, so... Let's do it! We'll accept no other answer, Bill Gilbert. So, Lyaro Island awaits you. And there you will most likely be met by an unknown enemy. If you return victorious, you will be admitted to the most important and secret tasks of the Crown. You can already see that I can trust you, but I must be sure you are strong enough to carry out crucial tasks. We do not know our enemy in this trial. As a royal searcher, you should not be afraid of the unknown. The Arrow Island appeared not long ago. First there was a terrible storm, and then a new island appeared in the Northern Ocean. We sent people to investigate, but they failed to return. So we sent a second expedition, but still no news. Go to the island on the dirigible, and find out what has happened to our people. Remember, the dirigible will not take you back until you reveal the secret of the island and eliminate the threat to Darien. Yes, I'll see that this difficult. S I will see that this. I can see that this is a difficult situation. I swear that. And, uh, but I swear here and now that I will bring the matter to conclusion, or my name's not Viscount Bill Gilbert. It's good to hear these words, Bill Gilbert. Take 3,000 gold coins. We need them for hiring troops. And visit the Temple of Truth. I think Aaron... Emion's warriors may be useful in your quest. Let's get some rage now that we have the chest of rage. Hey! Oh, was he just telling me to get some priests? It's not my first time here. Good day, Bill Gilbert. What brings you to our temple? My name is Aaron Dimion, one of the priests who carry the light and knowledge of the god's revelations to the people. Oh yes, the young treasure searcher. I've heard about you, and the gods themselves have sent you to our temple, Bill Gilbert. And, uh, by the will of the gods, your help to the temple will be taken into account in this life and in all future lives as well. Okay. You've come here not by your own will, by the will of the gods. Indeed, the gods have turned your eyes and feet to the temple. This is a hard time, hard for all of Darion. Knights like you are the support and hope of... Uh, not only for the royal power, but also the spiritual prosperity of our country. I see, I've often wondered why it was chosen by the gods for some important... I've often wondered if I was chosen by the gods for some important mission. I just want to know what that mission might be. The dedication to the gods' will is praiseworthy, young searcher. As you accept uh, this purse of donations and bring it to the Temple of Deceased Souls, the temple stands on sanctified land and Martian swamp. The way there is long and dangerous, which is why I cannot entrust even our slender donations to anyone else. Find Brother Owen and deliver this purse to his hands. For mind runes, you better believe I'll do that. Also, I don't think I'm quite ready for the next leg of the uh, royal quest. Also, I am just stumbling all over these lines. Oh, wait a minute. Can I look at these papers? Ah, evil beholders. Professor of Agriculture. Beholders are conventionally classified as animals. My observations confirm they breed like plants. They need to bury the eye of the beholder 
need to bury the eye of the beholder in hard ground, preferably rich in granite, and water it plentifully. A dozen of the terrible creatures will then grow from a single eye, but be warned, if you water the eye with blood, you may get the stronger red beholders, which miners call evil beholders. On the basis of these methods, we can extrapolate the possibility of growing yellow, blue, and even black beholders. But until we have experimental confirmation on this, there, this remains only a theory. Okay. What about the witch? Dating of evil beholders is a terrible sight. Observed how, after the dance of love, the female beholder kills the male and consumes the body to provide its brood with food. Approximately six days later, the plant, the children will appear. About ten hungry one-eyed creatures who themselves eat the mother from the inside. And a note from the limbs of the newborn evil beholders, you can extract a good poison antidote. And the mages and the eyes can be used for preparing the tint gear of the mandag mandragora root without the need to wait for a full moon. Okie dokie. And letter of resignation by this guy. Letter is addressed to Professor Tegrin Demmer, signed by Theodros Doggett, chief technician of the Medgard Laboratory 127. The creatures bred through tech. Uh, the technology of escalation breeding under guidelines that escape their cages after shooting hot rays of plasma onto the metallic surfaces of their locks. The incident involved the cooperation of two samples in neighboring cages. Given that the level of danger of the new creatures exceeds the safety requirements of uh, the mine, according to paragraph that of whatever, the laboratory has been sealed and flooded with liquid gas. I'm not sure you understand the uh, what liquid and gas are. Take full responsibility for this incident and request to be immediately relieved of my duties. Okie dokie. Hey, the pile of manuscripts for you. I'm not so sure those manuscripts will answer your question. Okay, whatever. How are you doing? Well, he's got more animals now. That's nice. Before we go off to, uh, Doom... Mr. Ridiculous, Great Prince Ashur. Swamps now should serve a human? Should? No, Slim will not serve. Uh, who are you? My name is Slim. I am the Crown Prince, the seventh child of the Lord of Ashur Swamps. I'm the last of the uh, Scrag, the only one to survive. Uh, what does that mean? In our language? Scrag's language, it means Child of the Poisonous Abyss. We are pangolins, a race of swamp inhabitants. There were times uh, when we were strong. We were lords of the whole world. It was many thousands of years ago. Now I am the only Scrag, the last lord, a prince with no swamps. What's happened to everyone else? Winter came. We are pangolins, humans. Cold-blooded. Cold makes us weak, helpless, kills us, and plunges us into sleep. I was lucky. When the continents budged and the f all the flesh died, I was far away. Captive in another world. Uh, can you tell me about your world? About my world? That is your world as well. Or have you not heard of the scrags that inhabited Andoria before the Titans came? We, Scrags, were the first intelligent race that inhabited this world. We lived in our poisonous swamps, we conquered everyone, and nobody could measure themselves against us. We were strong, and you'll never reach those heights. We appeared from the seeds of life, like the other firsts, but we appeared to be stronger. Then the civilization we conquered... The 
uh, then the others we conquered, we created civilization. Uh, one, two, three.